This is Stella. She's blind and deaf. Sammy, leave her alone. She can see very, very little bit of shadows. Not much, but just a little bit. I just got her a couple days ago. Usually what I do if I want to pat her, just lightly tap her. Kind of put my hand down and let her find it. Let me get a little tail wag. This is my second blind deaf dog, and a lot of people don't like them, and you know, I foster them, but they usually end up staying with me until they die, especially because they're seniors. This girl, they say she's 10. They found her dumped on the side of the road. I think she's actually old, older than that. But, you know, the thing about dogs, people think it's, it's a huge nuisance, which they are more difficult than the average dog. Oh, it's the first time I've ever seen her climb. Now, with these dogs, you know how like when you call your regular dog to come play with you, you holler at them, they come at you, you play. That's not how it works with these dogs. These dogs find you and you play with them when they want to play. Let's see if she can. I carry her in and out of the house because we have three steps. And she will fall down it. Let's see if she'll step down. Yeah, she knows there's a step there, but she won't step down. Hey, girl. Oh. My last blind one, you couldn't even really touch. This girl's a sweetheart. You pick her up, carry her, tuck her in your pocket. She's happy to go. And look at how happy-go-lucky this is. Not a care in the world. I don't know. I don't think she knows where she's going. She doesn't care. She's out here enjoying the sunshine. It's a spectacular day out here today. You know, if you're looking to adopt and you see these older blind or deaf dogs don't be hesitant to get them they take a little bit of work to get used to but she's a great dog and she's lazy you know we'll walk around out here for 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll go inside and she'll sleep for eight hours Never done the steps before. I wonder if she's gonna walk back in the house. That's a good girl. Good girl. See, she can either see my shadow or she can feel my vibrations. You'll be a good girl. And that's what she does. She'll walk around like that and look behind her to see if I'm following her, even if I'm not there. 
I kind of snuck around her, you know, the first night we got her just to see what she was doing. And she's adapted super, super good. I mean, she's just ready to rock and roll. But, you know, all I'm saying with this video is, is don't be hesitant to end adopting these fellas. I mean, you know, this girl's good. She's got another five or ten years left on her. You know, a little bit more work on her. She actually, she does good on a leash. You can't rush her, obviously. But yeah, she'll walk with you. Or especially being small like that, you just pick her up and carry her. Um, I picked her up yesterday and took her and showed her right off to my family. And it was no big deal. Just picked her up, carried her, away she goes. I set her down at every yard we got to. And she walked around like that and acts like she has a mission. So, if you have any questions on blind or deaf dogs or rescues in general or rescuing them or fostering let me know maybe i can sh um, you know shine some insight on it for you but you guys have a good one and be safe out there